Hey, Wally here, and today we're going to be talking about E3, more specifically Microsoft's press conference at E3. E3 always provides us with a unique opportunity to take a look at the industry as a whole. We get to see new developments, new trends, and more importantly, new titles. Every year at E3, there are things that make our mouse water and be excited to be gamers, and there are things that make us turn away at unexplicable horror. This year was no different as Microsoft definitely provided us with both. Last week, if someone was to tell me that I was going to watch Microsoft's press conference and it was going to be dedicated highly to talking about tech and hardware, I would have told them they were crazy because Microsoft has no new tech or hardware to promote. However, I would have had to humbly eat my words because Microsoft did in fact spend a large portion of their time talking about the Kinect, which was released last November. I will admit that initially, I did not have a pleasant reaction to Microsoft spending so much time talking about tech that was released last year. Uh, when the Connect was first released, I honestly had no interest in it, and I'm still not sure if I have any interest in it today. However, after allowing my nerd rage to subside a little bit and taking a second look back at what Microsoft was offering in the conference, I do understand that there were some things there that are of substantial worth, specifically talking about how they're going about integrating the Connect into new software titles is both interesting and helps expand upon the gameplay experience, which is what new tech really should support. I'm not going to say that every edition that was presented from Microsoft in these AAA titles was beneficial to the game, but there were definitely some that you could see they're actually helping to expand upon the creativity of the game itself and the experience. I believe that the epitome of what I'm talking about was represented all within the short demo provided by Ghost Recon Future Soldier. It provided some of the best implementations of this tech and hardware into the game and it also showcased some stuff that could be really troublesome in the future. Here we see Weaponsmith, Ghost Recon's newest feature in their upcoming title Ghost Recon Future Soldier. What's really unique about this new feature is it allows players to choose from a wide variety of components to construct their gun. As you can see there are a number of different components put in each gun and the player is allowed to choose from a selection in each one to create truly unique weapons. The developers boast that players will be able to create over 20 million unique weapon choices within the game, really allowing players to kind of almost construct a sense of identity by choosing their own unique weapon that no one else has. But what truly made this feature stand alone among all others presented by Microsoft was the ability to use Kinect to construct one's own weapon by hand. As you can see, the controls look highly intuitive. For instance, by simply spreading your hands, you will deconstruct the weapon. By putting them back together, you will reconstruct the weapon. As much as the ability to create one's own personal weapon gives them a sense of identity in the game, allowing a person to create their own gun by hand helps solidify their presence within the game. Not only does Connect make you feel like you're within the game, but it also makes you feel like you're teleported into the future. I remember initially watching this and instantly thinking of Tony Stark from Iron Man and Tom Cruise from Minority Report. While Gunsmith was without a doubt an impressive feature, what I was less impressed by was the ability to use Kinect itself as a controller. As you can see above, the player is holding with his right hand the gun and he's moving it around to aim. But as you could see, the controls really didn't look crisp. I know it's in the beginning of the title's development, and I know that the controls aren't completely solidified. However, it's widely known that when it comes to controls, Everything needs to be crisp and clean, especially when you're going to be playing multiplayer. And I feel that if they're trying to add on controls that aren't fully developed, it's only going to be a problem. Ghost Recon helps to illustrate the idea that sometimes with new technology like the Kinect, less is more. The Kinect should be used in instances which the controller can simply not create, helping expand upon gameplay and making a world much more immersive than it was before. However, just because the Kinect might be implemented in a game doesn't mean that it needs to be used across the board. There are certain instances in which the technology is just not able to create solid enough controls, and making controls half-assed simply and honestly just takes the player out of the game.